Welcome to our Verifying Trigonometric Identities activity. At the top of our activity, you will find fundamental trigonometric identities. Take note of the reciprocal identities, including cosecant, secant, and cotangent. These will be necessary since the class pad does not currently have buttons for those three functions. At the beginning of our activity, we explain how to verify an identity. We then go on to use the aptly named application, Verify. Verify can be found in the main application by clicking here. Main can also be reached from anywhere else by clicking main on the hard icon panel. Verify will be found in the last drop-down palette and the last button. From here we will want to enter our expression. The trig functions can be found in the math tab, down the trig tab. Here we have sine, cosine, and tangent. Put in sine of t squared plus cosine of t squared plus tan of t squared hit exe and you'll notice that the top line has been manipulated it is currently centered and so there are scrolling arrows on each side of the screen also each of the terms has newfound parentheses in order to further clarify that it is sine of t that is squared our next step in our proof would be to substitute the sine of t squared plus cosine of t squared with a 1. 1 can be pushed from the calculator itself or from the soft keypad. We'll add tan t squared. And we'll get a happy face saying that we have done the correct step. If our expression was not equivalent to the previous line, We'll get an error and a sorry not equivalent, sad face, and we will be forced to hit OK before continuing. Also, you'll notice that you are not allowed to go on until you have fixed that line. So we will adjust our expression, get our happy face, and then be allowed to move to the next line. Here, we would have to use the reciprocal identity for secant. So in order to use a fraction, we'll go to the 2D tab, fraction button. 1 over, go back to the trig, cosine t squared, and get a smiley face. Our activity then goes on to have the students do a couple exercises. We next have some explanation how to do some more difficult proofs involving factoring, then involving multiplying by conjugates of the denominator, we have two more exercises, and at the end we have the solutions given via Verify.